down long rows of artist tents, you never know what you'll see. These wood flowers are handmade by a woman without hands. Mobile artist Jacqueline McMillan became a quadruple amputee after a battle with sepsis more than a decade ago and forged a new career path. Oh, I love it. It's just fairly fulfilling. It's like therapeutic. I get to zone out, make flowers, which I love, and then uh, listen to music all day. <laughs> This is the 36th year for the festival, an event that's continued for decades. The dedication of the city and the dedication of the chamber and the committee and the artists all coming together and just, you know, have, letting Daphne have something that they can call its own. Thousands walk through over two days to buy and or browse. Love all the different artwork. I like all the bright colors. <laughs> Thanks to generally good weather in mid-October, the festival usually generates some pretty large crowds. Love meeting all the artists. I've been in this for quite some time and just having relationships with them and getting to know them and, you know, seeing their work evolve over the years. For the dozens of artists here, it's a chance to connect with the community. And people like to have someone that's local, someone they can pick up the phone, call, hey, let's meet for coffee, let's discuss a painting. And that really makes it nice. And it's um, great for the community. A good weekend for a festival and plans to come back next year. In Daphne, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.